Hello everybody, my name is 23 Monday and I'm here with my first LEGO review ever. And today, we, for the LEGO review, we have the Utapel Troopers. So let's get right into the figure. Here you get a, Uta, a Utapel Trooper that features some detail on his helmet, two stripes on his helmet, and some orange printing here and here. This figure is one of my favorite figures because he does feature one of these that we haven't had for a long time. And also has the printing on the helmet and the two dots. On his torso he does have two orange lines going across here and, and on his leg for his strap on his torso it does feature all the way around but not right it doesn't go in right there on the neck he does feature a black thing which I don't know what it is and some orange printing and some basic clone troopers that we have received in the 2014 that's the same thing as the back has the same back that we got for a very long time but without the straps like this guy it's the same thing but this guy has a strap and this guy is kind of orange for the leg he does have a strap with some knee pouches filled in with orange now you do get two of these guys so I'm not going to review both of those two guys. And you also get a waist cape. With the new blaster that you could get lost easily. Here, look, I'll show you. Luckily, I found it, and good thing my carpet is not blue because then it will be very hard. You do, feel, you do get two of those guys. And for the 212th trooper, he does feature a triangle going down on his helmet and does have a bit of dirt and the print faded right there. If you've seen my Art Trooper 5's review, he does feature this helmet. It was this helmet. If you haven't, I'll go show it to you right now. Okay, here's my Art Trooper 5's. It is just the same helmet, but without this. And I think he looks awesome. So now, on to the torso. He does have an upside down triangle that is on his chest plate. And also some half triangles here and there. And also the other half triangles on the back of his torso. And does have a little bit of orange on there as you can see right there and he also features some triangles and some half triangles featured on his leg printing you do get two of these on the same blasters that you could get lost easily because they bounce around and everything now on to the set. This droid, which I don't know the name of, comes with some flick fire missiles, which I'm so happy to see those, not the spring loaded shooters. And a ton of pieces on the battle on the bottom. And a lot of technic pieces, of course. Now I am going to demonstrate how the flick fire missile shoots. 
Oh. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm still reviewing. This was a very awesome build. So happy to build one of these things. And now let's go to the manual. Now the manual is very decent. It does have the choking hazard and the Utapal troopers fighting off the droid, which I don't know the name of. And the flick farm, no, the new gun shooting out the studs to take down the droid. And the new Darth Vader, that is right here. And the Star Wars. One thing I have noticed in the past few years, last year it was episode 2 troopers, and this year it's episode 3 troopers, so I'm assuming this year for summer, it's probably going to be episode 4 troopers. On the back it just has the kids screaming at you, and then it says win. Then it does have the kid going on the computer, consuming his mind on it. And Darth Malgus with Master Yoda. And some kind of game. And poster, video, all that stuff. Oh, pause the final first. And it also has the safety, that kind of stuff. Here it shows you the piece count, which I will be reviewing the extra pieces in a little bit. And it shows the Utapal Troopers with the droid. And now let's get to the box. The box is pretty decent. It does have the same Lego Star Wars and the little lava streaks here and there and also the droid and basically the same thing but they're retreating and the action right there when it's shooting out the missiles and it does have the same thing as the instructions manual Today is Easter, so I wish you a happy Easter, and yeah, I just have the Darth Vader. Now I'm going to be reviewing the extra pieces. The extra, pre the extra pieces are pretty slim. You do get six blue studs in case these the studs in there get lost. And you do get one of these things that look like a face. And you do get an extra gray stud. So yeah, that is my review for the Utapal Trooper set. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to check out my other videos that I've done in the past.